Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm sorry that the, today's camera is a little bit darker than usual. I'm just trying so hard to figure out how to get my camera set up. My camera is so damn old. Again, I'm so sorry. I need to like figure out, you know, to buy a new one and maybe switch my room around so that I can film better and get better lighting. I don't know. We'll have to see about that and see how that plays out. But anyways, today, as you can see, we're watching Chantel. We're doing a review on her video entitled I'm Impulsive which is the video she posted after she after her going away video which I knew she was going to be back and I'm sure the majority of you guys already knew she was going to be back if I'm looking down here it's because I'm looking at my camera on my screen sorry about that you gotta remember to look up here so anyways if you know her you know that she's been she's kind of like um Amberlynn in a way they're kind of like I feel like they're like sisters in a way because they're both always claiming to quit and wanting to quit but they never do they always come back so I feel like I feel like in a way Chantel kind of copied Amberlynn because Amberlynn a few days ago claimed she wanted to leave but here she is she's back again so it's like you know and then I guess Am I guess Chantel thought oh maybe you know I might get some views or something some clout if I do the same thing as Amberlynn and then she did the same thing as Amberlynn pretends to quit and is back she's done this a bajillion times she's pretend to quit a bajillion times but we all know she ain't going nowhere and neither is our girl Amberlynn none of them are going anywhere they just love to pretend they're quitting just to get attention and for views that's the way i feel about it i'm sure that the majority of you guys feel about it anyways her i think she posted this video her last video was posted two days ago claiming to leave but now she's back she posted this so i'm gonna react to it i haven't watched it yet so let's get to it if i can remember how to control this sorry guys, hey guys. Oh, yo back already do mm -hmm. it it's probably wagers it's not, I'm not really back. Sorry, I was turning the volume on. I have some thoughts. Um, She's back. She's back. There's no, I have some thoughts. I'm not really back. If you're not really back, you don't post. Um, about my video yesterday and some regrets as usual. So first I came to um, Starbucks. And I want to say, if you have not tried the, the pumpkin cream cold brew you have to try it hmm. and get some of the pumpkin I haven't spice Starbucks in forever. seasoning on top it is like amazing <laughs> cool all right so my video yesterday now i know what they really mean when they say sleep on it i should have done that before doing yeah. that video i feel like her and um amberlynn record videos in the moment and then they post them up the second they finish recording them which is kind of a bad idea like because imagine like recording a video when you're upset like her she was upset and Amberlynn was upset too and angry and whatever and then they upload and then they you know could end up regretting it so that's why it's better to sleep on it not upload how you feel if you're upset about something and claiming you want to leave but then you know deep down inside you don't want to but in the moment you feel like you want to and then you end up regretting it like that's what they both do they both record in the moment upload and then I'm sure they regret it. It was basically just me venting a lot of my bottled up feelings and uh, about YouTube and about my presence on YouTube and the amount of hate on YouTube, on social media in general, just really has been getting to me. And what really topped it off was that comment about the racism. I deleted it and they took the time to do another account or log in with another account and said it again like oh she deleted this comment yeah i remember when she spoke about that person who was speaking another language it seemed like she was kind of being like oh kind of like kind of being a little racist and making a little fun of her i don't know but i just let that slide because again i don't really know you know but i guess that's what made her quit in the first place wanting to quit or whatever that little comment so and like trying to like start something and that's like dangerous because of the whole pack mentality thing on social media and cancel culture and it's just like i don't want to be a part of that and i i really sometimes just want to throw in the towel and be like do i want to be part of that because that that goes with it for every youtuber every youtuber gets hate every youtuber is susceptible there's people waiting to just ruin you and it's like am i comfortable with that i'm i'm vulnerable i'm putting my life out there and it's being picked apart by thousands of people 
So I'm not sorry for what I said. I'm sorry for how I said it. Um, gosh, just just say I'm sorry. Was, Simple. Say I'm sorry and own up to your shit. Oh my gosh. Very, like the way I said it was harsh and a lot of F-bombs and it was kind of aggressive. Yeah. Um, and the last thing I, and it was not directed at any of my loyal viewers, so I'm sorry if it upset any of you. So, but it didn't really, the video really didn't need to be made because I'm sure that most YouTubers have that what? view on the negative side of what they do and I guess the best weapon is probably just ignoring it and I've been trying to do that and I think I've been doing a good job at staying out of it but it's just it's like kind of everywhere if I have tears it's because I have leaky eyes not because I'm crying I have you know it's kind of everywhere so it's like unavoidable sometimes and it just was just set me off and I'm sure that person that wrote that comment is like yay I won you know so I shouldn't have really acknowledged it but, but you do um, you acknowledge people just every find comment. the dumbest like that comment like a, a racism thing people just find the dumbest thing they don't find the dumbest things no offense but you say the dumbest things and then when people point out on the dumb shit you say you get mad and, and attack your viewers for it maybe just like be careful with what you say online because you know it could be used against you you seemed a little the way you spoke about that woman you seemed a little eh, kind of irked me off the wrong way too and i'm sure it irked, it irked off everybody or rubbed them off the wrong way i don't know what word you would use it's just like own up to your shit like just say i'm sorry you don't have to say oh i'm not gonna i'm not sorry for the way i i for what i said but i'm sorry for the way i said it it's like what this fucking makes sense you know, like I said, they reach so hard to find the dumbest things. So do you. To, um, yeah, to just try to ru ruin you or bring you down or damage your reputation online. And it's just like, it's why, you know, it's that try to type my hair. of thing that really just gets me down sometimes. And then, you know, I realize that I'm going to have to live with that if that's what I want to, if I want to continue being on YouTube, so I'm not sure about that sometimes. But I'm impulsive and just decide to leave, but then I regret it because I realize without an audience, my life really is just boring and mundane. Like, you know, it's just... And you like the attention. I'm sorry, but she likes the attention, guys. Her and Amberlynn love the attention of putting their viewers on a roller coaster ride and just doing crazy shit, and then they want to play victim. I don't know. It's... Without... People she looks so uncomfortable. Paying she looks attention like she to your life. It's I'm sorry. Like, it's just a normal she life. Looks kind of you know, I like sharing my life with you guys. Um, I like sharing some of it. I think that I share maybe too much sometimes. So I really need to think about that. Mm -hmm. um, if I, I do agree. decide, I, I'm still really giving it a lot of thought. I do enjoy doing the mukbangs because I get to just tell stories and it's just like, I just like sitting there and sharing my dinner. It's the social part of it. Like it's like having dinner with somebody. It's not for me to pig out. Like it's not that, you know? So that's, I do enjoy that. And that's what I started my channel doing. And that's what grew my channel. So you know what I mean? Like that's what grew my channel. And I want to be able to do what I want without, you know, I'm people, about to fall without, I guess I sh just shouldn't care. Like, you know, I should just do what I want, what makes me happy. Yes, do what you want, what makes you happy, but also be careful with what you post, what you say, and just, in a way, kind of think about your viewers. Like, stop taking us all on a crazy roller coaster ride. It's not fun. People want to see you get better. People want to see you lose weight. People want to see you, you know, do good, but you keep repeating like the same mistakes I feel like and just like you know I don't know how to explain this because I'm not trying to sound mean so I'm trying to watch what I say I don't want to come off as you know harsh or whatever but yeah um I don't know what do you guys think so yeah um let's continue the video I guess because no matter what I do there's always going to be somebody who disagrees with it or has something to say about it and what you really have to just do is just whatever, you know? Ignore it. Um, 
<sighs> ignore the trolls, ignore the haters. That's kind of funny to say this to a troll. Anyways, I don't know. So, that's, I mean, you know, Pete's was kind of disappointed because he likes doing the videos with me. He won't, doesn't want to start his own channel. Um, but he wants, likes being in my videos. So, I think that... <clears throat> I have some thinking to do, and of course I feel bad every time I do this. You know, supporters of mine are like, please don't go, and then I feel bad. You're not going anywhere. You just you should feel bad about tricking your, your supporters or your viewers, whatever you want to call them. You should feel bad about taking them on a whole roller coaster ride all the time and saying you're going to quit, you're not going to quit, you're going to quit, you're not going to quit, putting them on this whole just emotional ride that they don't need to be on. Like, think about your viewers. Like, I don't think you care about your viewers at all. And your supporters, or whatever you want to call them. I don't think you care. And I feel like I'm giving up and giving in to, Sorry, like, that was my the cat. negativity by going away. That's what they want. You, you know, do so... Did the camera just switch? There's a seagull running after... It's windy, so there's, like, a pamphlet. Hold on. Oh, I love seagulls. They're so cute. The seagull is picking up this package or looks like paper a chip bag. and was like running after it. It was blowing in the wind. So he's like running he's after so it. so cute. Oh, he's cute. You're a weirdo. I wish people pick up after <laughs> their trash. There's Did no they? food in it. Well, maybe there is. I don't know. So anyways, I'm going to give it some thought because... I do want to share my, you know, health journey, like, with the hysterectomy coming up and everything like that. Um, he's still running after that. He's distracting me. Um, <laughs> I know so what she means, being distracted by things I'll outside. See. Sometimes Anyways, I get distracted um, by the seagulls as well. I guess that's it. I'm going to um, go for now. So, I do apologize you know, if my delivery was upsetting mm -hmm. or things that I said were upsetting to my loyal viewers. Good. Um, At least apologize. Why is she looking away? We should apologize. It's intention to upset you guys. So I'm going to give it some thought. And I don't really think she is sorry. I don't know. I just don't think that's a sincere apology. But at least she's apologizing. But because, like, look at the camera and say, I'm sorry, guys, for the way I've been acting and everything. Don't just, like, Look away every time you say something. I don't know. But then again, it's a habit of her. She always seems to do that. So, I don't know. If I'm back. Do you guys really believe she's sorry? And did you guys really believe she would leave? I didn't believe she would leave at all. And I don't feel like this is a sincere apology, but whatever. I come back. And, um, if I really decide to stay, sure I forgot, I'll let you guys know. Because... At least owe it to you guys for that. You've been watching me and following me all this time, so. Yeah, which I do still appreciate. So, anyways, thanks a lot, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. So, oh, we are at Baton Rouge, one of our new favorite restaurants, right, Pete? Ew, is he picking yes. his nose on the camera? I'm a nose picker, too, so. My finger was outside my nose. Yeah. That wasn't picking, it was scratching. Oh. Sure. And so we. Anyone of any everyone. He on seems there like a nice guy. I don't know. I feel like he still likes her though, or has some type of feelings for her. I could be wrong, but I'm just that's the type of vibe I'm getting. Go back me up. Yeah, I know, cause I pick it. Was outside, it was outside the nose. It's not thick. <laughs> so these are the ten ounce. That's these are the ten food. ounce ribs, and they're like, do you want ten or sixteen? So the sixteen ounce would be almost double this. Yeah. This is huge. So we're about to rouge. They're known for their. I don't really like ribs, but that kind of looks good. Ribs. So these are barbecue ribs. I'm having baked potatoes. You're having coleslaw and fries, right? Yep. So this is the fancy restaurant. <laughs> wow. Okay then. Okay. So let's continue the video. Sorry, guys. I went to. It smells like ribs out here. Hey everyone. Oh. Pizza on here. Sorry, you're kind of blocking his so, face, I realized. Oops. So Pizza and I have decided, instead of eating out once a week, <clears throat> we're going to just wait. Like, I'm going to make some healthy snacks for us to bring on an adventure with Pete's. Like some veggies. Just a, a better idea. 
dip, maybe some nuts. Mm -hmm. And instead, we're going to wait. And oh, the keeps focusing and refocusing. Hey guys, sorry, I had to like, oops, so move the camera and around. come here so we can uh, see his face. Once a month because we really love the ribs here, right? Yeah, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how that goes. But no, that's that's the plan. Um, so yeah. Okay. So, anyways, guys, um, I guess that's it. He looks kind of creepy again. there, just like staring like. That you're in the car, and you gotta poop. Yeah. Well, I managed to poop, but it was the poop plug. I can never I talk about poop. pooping with a guy. I don't, I don't know. Even like if he's my friend, I cannot. Poop. Like it's a poop that. That's not attractive. It's kind of like pulling a plug, and then like it's a poop that. Yeah, it's disgusting. <laughs> I can't explain the poop plug. It's a poop that causes more poop to come. How is he friends with? Uh, I know what you're getting at. Somebody who talks a lot about <laughs> poop. How would I explain it? You're better at this. Uh, he looks so uncomfortable. Breaking the seal. <laughs> he used to date me. It? it breaks the seal. <laughs> he used to date me. Which is why none of this actually grosses me out anymore. Do it look bad if I went back in there? I don't know. And just the bathroom again? It's not like one of those restaurants where like there's staff everywhere. It's like there's always someone at the door saying, Hi, welcome to Baton Rouge or have a good night. So that person would know. You just go in and say, sorry, I just gotta use the washroom real quick. I'm sure they wouldn't mind. So I'll drive around. <laughs> Find a pizza pizza. <laughs> okay, guys. So, we came to Popeye's Supplements. <laughs> Pizza's gonna show the box here. <laughs> so, we got the Quest tortilla style chips and this is a case of eight bags so <laughs> this is the loaded taco I see a lot of people on Instagram on channels they use this for taco bowls or whatever for a keto snack mm -hmm. um, so these are baked gluten-free no added soy ingredients um, so, I guess so I to, like, for one full bag, it's 140 calories. I low key want to skip this because I don't care. And five total carbohydrates with one expensive. You know, I think just some. So that's Sorry. it for this video. I don't it care for kind of longer this than information. I, you know, was intending, but oh well. Um, so I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Okay. I'll so sorry, we didn't leave yet. I gotta tell you guys about something. <laughs> so yesterday. Which you were supposed to remind me of, and you didn't. Yesterday, <laughs> I was on the phone after I was like, I'm quitting YouTube. I was on the phone quitting. with Bell trying to downsize my cable plan. <laughs> and um, and um, out of nowhere, this random guy walks in with a bottle of wine. Like, this guy walks in my house. I didn't lock my door. <laughs> walks in my, yes. my house with a bottle of wine. And he's just looking at me for like a few seconds and I'm looking at him. And then I'm like, he's going to get it and he's going to go. So I didn't say anything. Sure enough, he turns around and walks out. So I wanted to tell you about a random guy. It's like, leave the wine. <laughs> so we just went to Dollarama. She got a bunch of tacky wall hangings. Yeah. <sighs> They're stupid and cheesy. Damn, salty man. Trying to be careful with money, but Dollarama happened. I was like literally going through the aisles and just like picking up random things. So I got a whole bunch of cheesy wall hangings. So you'll see them in the background soon. Follow your dreams. What is another one? Love yourself? No. The one about you being... Uh, oh, yeah. Glittering and... Your bright as glitter and... Bubbly-ish. Uh, bubbly champagne. <laughs> what? <laughs> I think you should have gotten the one where... Oh, sorry. <laughs> Not Manatee, but the one with the horn. The, uh... I don't remember what that one said. 
I don't know, but I'm like, we, we drove by a Halloween shop, and he's like, I like Halloween like, shops. What do you think that should be for Halloween? He's like, Kirby! <laughs> or Boo. And then I tried to do the Boo laugh. <laughs> Can't do it. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye. For the Bye. third time today. That's the last time. Okay, y'all. So, I don't know. I think... Okay, so I think what she needs to do is just not record when she's mad and upset about something and then post it, like, once she's done recording and post it right away because I think, like she said, impulsive recording and video filming and posting, like, this... Just don't record anything, you guys, when you're mad and upset and post it on your YouTube channel because chances are a few hours later or the next day you are going to regret it. And I'm sure she got mad and upset and was upset about her comments or... And, that comment or whatever and she's like okay i'm gonna quit because this person made me upset and then you know she doesn't quit like don't do that it's just in a way hopefully she needs hopefully she learns to stop taking her viewers on these crazy emotional rides because it's not fun i'm not excited watching it i'm not here for it i don't know it's just not fun whatsoever at all and hopefully you know I'm, me myself i want to see her get healthier and better and just you know lose the weight because I feel like she would be much happier too and I know myself I want to lose some weight as well but like you know I feel like she just needs to like I said don't record when you're upset don't put your viewers on any more emotional roller coaster rides you know just and apologize when you're wrong and don't drag things on and I feel like she pretended to leave because she wanted to pull the same thing Amberlynn did because Amberlynn got a lot of views for that and of course Amberlynn didn't leave the very next day she came back same thing as this chick I don't know but if you guys see here on the screen there's a couple of reaction channels that I also do watch so there's this um, Aphrodite's Peach sometimes I do watch her and of course Zachary Michael I'm sure you guys know who he is he's pretty awesome I watch him quite often actually and then I also watch Kicking Geese she oh my gosh her commentary just I pronounce that correctly cracks me up she's way too funny and then her too um charlie gold she is a very serious woman i feel like she has a lot of knowledge and you know she gets straight to the point and i do enjoy watching her videos she's one of the newer channels that have been um recently starting to watch as well and then of course there is um the youtube underground which i also watch her videos too quite frankly like the top three that i watch a lot for the most part, Zachary Michael, Kicking Geese, oh, Charlie Gold, of course, and now her. So, top four, I guess. Um, are the ones that I mostly watch, and Stephanie Sue's just a whole mukbang channel here, if you guys can see. But, anyways, um, yeah, Chantel through the YouTube underground here, Yaba, under the bus, talking about her kids a lot, which is so stupid. And it's like, you don't want to talk about somebody's kids online, or period, ever, negatively. So, I don't know. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was okay. I didn't want to be too judgy and too, you know, crazy and come off, you know, as mean or whatever. I feel like I did better in this video versus my last two videos. I tried not to pick and be like a hater or just be like, you know, pick and pick out all their flaws. So, you know, because, I don't know. Anyways. Let me stop talking now. So I'll see y'all in the next video. Let me know what you thought of this video and if you expected her to come back or not. And yeah, I'll see y'all later. Bye.